All right, everybody, I'm gonna give you guys a couple little quick tips that helped me out with the XLX that I found. First thing, you have to have this auxiliary cable that comes from the ESC with it. It's for the BEC. You have to have that unplugged from your receiver. Otherwise, it ain't gonna do nothing. Okay. Right. Let me come up here to power. If you guys are having problems with your motor cogging, starting off, change your start power. It's set at low to begin with. Go ahead and put it on medium to high. You want to check your temperatures and stuff after all that. Go ahead and update it. And here, this is the biggest thing right here. I'm going to go to current limiting. They got here, very intensive, 280 amps. Okay. What you want to do is here, go to custom. The old XL2 was 320. Okay, but this one here is. Let me go a little faster. 400. Now, this right here made all the difference in the world for me. And as for the updates, you have to click on 178 and then click update firmware. You can't go down here and click this update. It, it won't do it. You have to click update firmware, let it run through its process. And uh, I mean, it's working good for me so far. I had a big ass motor on it before, 8S. And it didn't cut off on me pulling pretty good numbers so if this don't help you guys I'd say call castle but this should help you alright everybody peace